Hey everyone, it's Allison with Ladner Village Arts and Crafts and I wanted to show some of our Catherine Pooler products to you and demonstrate how they work a little bit because uh, I think there's some questions. Uh, they're, they're sort of new, especially up here in Canada. Uh, they're new to the market. Not everyone is familiar with them. So I wanted to uh, do a little demo and show some of the products that we have in the store. So they were very kind and they sent um, a couple of their full size ink pads to play with. Um, in store, we have got the packs of their mini inks so that you can get um, a whole bunch of inks all at once and try them all, all the colors out. They're fabulous. Um, but I will show you, these are the two that they sent and this was just the one from my stash. Um, and I wanna show you how they sort of work. And um, they also sent a stamp set to play with. So we're gonna do a little bit of playing here. But before I do that, I did want to show you how we do have some sets of products. So um, this is their daily grind six by six pattern paper. And um, as the name suggests, it's sort of coffee themed. You've got mugs and coffee beans and that kind of thing. Um, and to go with it, there is both a stamp set and a matching die set. So the stamp set has super fun sayings like, may your coffee be strong and your Monday be short. <laughs> so uh, super fun to make some cards with or like gift tags. Um, and the other thing I wanted to show you was this um, background stamp. It's called the Ink Splat. And so fun to give that initial texture to the back of your cards. You can even use it on scrapbook layouts. Um, you would just, you know, move it around your page. And also in this kit or in this line um, are these Providence sequins. And I'm just gonna open up one of these packets and show you the inside, show you those colors. So they coordinate perfectly with the daily grind pattern. So there's some pinks and golds and some deep reds, just beautiful to add to your, your cards and your scrapbook pages. I use sequins on my scrapbook pages all the time. So those are, new Catherine Pooler products that are in store you can purchase right now. So let's look at some of the properties of these inks. Um, I am the most familiar with Tim Holtz Distress Oxide inks, um, but these have similar properties. So they will react with water. And I did up this sort of playing sheet uh, a couple days ago and I just spritzed it. I actually took the straw from my water cup and put a few drops of water on there just to show you how it reacts. You get these lovely watermarks with it. So I will take a little spritzer and do that in a moment. But first I wanted to show you um, why, why you should buy her blending tools. Um, I, and to do this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the blending tools that I'm most familiar with, which are these um, little sort of one inch round ink blenders from Ranger. And um, I just wanted to show you what happens with this. So with other inks that I've used, um, you do this technique and you get these beautiful images, you know, nice solid backgrounds. With the Catherine Pooler inks, I tend to get more of this mottling when I use the ink pads. When I use her blending tools, on the other hand, now they are rounded and it's, um, it's not foam, it's a brush, like a, like a makeup brush, like a blush brush or something like that. It takes a little bit um, more finesse to really blend it, but I don't get that sort of streakiness of the round blender. You get the softer image. To make it um, more solid, you just gotta keep adding ink to it. And don't worry, there's plenty of ink in these ink pads. It probably looks like I'm applying a ton of ink, but trust me, there's plenty left in that ink pad. And you just gotta keep applying it to get a nice solid image, to get it as deep as you want. You can blend it out, fade it out into the um, the edges, that kind of thing. And then the beauty of these inks is that they blend together. So I'm gonna take the sangria and blend it in to this one, which is called Daydream. 
and we'll start off to the one side let me show you this beautiful color i mean these are just gorgeous like jewel tones and then as i work it into the daydream it's going to combine and you're going to get a new color look at that gorgeous purple So this is how they blend together. But you can also use them to stamp with. Now, I'm gonna spritz this. Let me just grab my spritzer. So any spray bottle will work. I'm gonna take the end off and just tap. That will give me big drops. Or I can spritz it. And just be careful you don't get it on your ink pads. And then I get a fine mist by spritzing it. And we'll just let that sit and react. Um, I always have a bag of uh, baby wipes handy. And I'm just going to wipe the, my mat down. I am working on uh, the Ranger craft mat. Any craft mat will work. You just want to protect your surface, basically. Now, these inks are super juicy. So you don't need a lot. You don't need a lot of pressure is what I mean. You're just gonna tap it and then right to the paper. Rock it a little bit. Such beautiful, crisp image. You can offset. The great thing about the clear stamps is that you can see where you're stamping. So you can offset it a little bit. Create your own pattern. Just like that, so easy. And then let's just, I'm gonna stamp some of these flowers. They're just gorgeous. I barely have to touch the ink pad and I get full saturation on my um, stamp because the ink pads are so juicy. And I'm gonna add a little bit of detail. You see how we got that white bit there? Now I, I might not line it up properly um, and that's okay. I'm not worried about lining it up completely accurately to be honest. I can try and do a better, a little better job than that maybe. But this stamp set and, and all the stamp sets come with all these little pieces that you can add to create um, little scenes and whatnot and of course once you have you know more colors of ink you can really go to town and create scenes in our um the the set of minis they come with like i said i think it's eight eight different colors in the minis um so you've got a wide palette so this just gives you an idea of, oh, see, look, you see how that's reacted? So these are the big droplets and this is the little spray that I did. That's the difference. So you get a real fine um, watercolor effect from the spray and then the like flicking the end of the dropper on there gives you these nice big drops. But I love how they react with the water. Okay, so that's just a quick idea of these Catherine Cooler inks and how they work. Um, we don't have any of the large ones in stock at the moment. Um, if you would like us to bring some in, please let us know. Um, but uh, do try out the little minis. That'll give you a taste of them. And um, check out the other stamp sets and paper that we have as well from Catherine Pooler. All right. So thank you so much for joining me today. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.